hello guys in this video i have connected the real output of led lights with my micrologix 1100 and i'm gonna show you how you can control this output with sequence output like in real world so we're gonna open the software because before we did in simulation but this time we're gonna do that in real world output and i will open the program that i have already created as you can see i have used a sequencer output and on my output side let me go online first so i will go system comms I have to wait a bit but these outputs are not connected in sequence but we're gonna use them in sequence so let me see which ethernet card i have connected this i think right here go online okay i'm online so now as you can see on the output side i have connected this to the output card so what i'm going to do now if i click here as you can see none of them has any kind of name or nothing but let me adjust my mic so i can access my keyboard so if i own this nothing happens let's go to the next one as you can see green light turns on so this one is my green light so i'm gonna put a name of it as green and hit okay so now i have identified that this one is my green light when i turn it on sorry click here one enter my green light turns on let's move to the next one nothing is connected here okay blue light is connected to this output so i'm gonna give name for this one is blue let's go to the next one this one is red i will give name here red let's go to the next one this is my yellow yellow let's go to the next one we have white here okay so as you can see it's not in sequence because this is my green but next one is nothing and the one after it's blue and the one after is somewhere in the middle right here it's not like it's in the sequence connected but we're gonna make it in sequence with sqo which i have already done here so we can understand what i have done sequencer output file i use b3 column 0 that means this is my b3 column 0 file i use and then output destination is one card so this is my one card so i use this as the output and this is my control resistor and length of eight i use and then it's showing position six but i can make it zero right now because it's not turned on and i'm using timer to turn it off and on turn it off and on how fast i want so let's go to the binary table what i did and output table side by side to configure that so as you can see right now zero step is gonna be this i don't want any lights to turn on on this step so zero on this step i want 14th bit so 14th bit is over here let's see which one is that i want green to turn on on this step 
so step zero nothing step one my green light will turn on step two i made one on number 10 so over here on number 10 let's see which light is that it's it's yellow that means i want in my step two yellow light to turn on step three is number 11 so number 11 should be red yep i make sure that number 11 is red and after that my next step i want number nine to turn on only so number nine is white that's perfect and the step after i want blue to turn on so it means number 12 so number 12 should be blue perfect so we have reached from here to here in steps so step one two three four five and after that i want come back as well till here so next step we have successfully turned till till blue in next step i want number nine to turn on number nine means i want to make sure when it reaches here it comes back as well the next step is white and the one after should be red like this and the step after is my yellow and step after is nothing because after this step number eight i want it to turn on green again so it, it automatically jumps back to number one in this condition or whatever i have created so let's turn it on i'm going to toggle this bit and there you go it's traveling like this as you can see my sequences sequences i can make it more slower so i can put here 100 so now as you can see six seven eight and it comes back to one six seven eight and come back to one so this video was just to show you the real life example how you can configure sqo thank you very much